So today I want to show us how to manage data using a powerful spreadsheet program. Um, we have done the basic work of our data entry here, and you can see I have a bunch of dates and a bunch of scores in a column. Now, what you need to do is select the data. One thing you need to know about selecting data is if I hit control A, that's select all, it does two different things depending on where your cursor is. So if my cursor is out here and I hit control A, it's, it tries to smart select. So it knows that I have data, but it selects this empty column. If I go way over here, it takes the entire spreadsheet. So wanna make sure you're selected for this task, my actual data. I'm gonna say control A. And now I want to use this program called a pivot table. So what this is going to do is this is going to analyze the data for me. Now we've made bar graphs by hand, but the cool thing about this is that you can make bar graphs um, without having to do the counting of your items, your categories manually. So we go to data and we're going to say pivot table is right here. We click pivot table. And you'll see this uh, dialog open up. I like to make it a new sheet. So we'll say create. So here, if we look at the bottom, hide tools, alt T. Okay. If we look at the bottom, we can see that we have two different uh, tabs open. So this was our original sheet here. And this is our pivot table. Now on the right hand side, uh, there's nothing here yet. So we have to add some things. So what we're going to add is our columns. So we need to add, what do we want our columns to be? Well, we're going to take from our data. We want our columns to be the score. So when I click add columns, you can see our two headings from our sheet. Number one are right here. So I'm going to add the score and you can see that it's tallied my items and it says that I've select I have the options one to five and it has a grand total as well for this we're going to take off the total so I'm going to uncheck that box Hit uncheck the box there we go and the right side disappears so now we actually need the data in our pivot table that we're, we're creating here so I have to say add values because right now we just have headings we don't have values so the values are also going to be from the score. And basically what this is going to do is count how many different um, level ones I had, level twos, and so on. So I hit score. And now you'll see that it has tallied those up. Now the problem is, let me just turn on grand total again. You'll see right away that I have 109 grand total. But we haven't been in school for 109 days. So that doesn't make sense. And then we realize here under values, it has summed my data instead of counting it. So we want to count the days when I had a one, count the days when I had a two. I don't want to say um, two times nine. And that's that's what's happened here. This is two times nine. I had nine days where I am at a level two. And so it's multiplied them and then added them up. So. We want to get rid of the sum. I'm going to change it to count. And there we go. So we've been doing this total, this, this tally for roughly 35 days. So on my sample data, I was a level one for three days. I was nine. Oh, I did that. That's pretty amazing. I did that completely by accident. I was nine times a level two, a level three, and a level four. Um, so I'm going to uncheck our totals again. And we've got our count set. So now that we have our data, I can close the pivot table editor. Oh yeah, I'll come back to that. And we can make our graph. So we select the data from here to here and we click our graph button, which currently is hidden. So I have to close this. There it is. Or if, uh, if you wanted to, oops, if the pivot table was open, there's a little drop down that you can find the chart menu. So, here is the chart menu. And so it's made an automatic column chart and you can change that here. 
But you can obviously see that doing this was quite a bit faster than when we had to do a chart by hand and when you were counting all of your data. So now I'm going to move this down so we can see the data and I will hide the menu here. All right. So we can customize our chart a little bit if we wanted to. So if we click on our edit button here, edit the chart, it should show the right side tab. Um, stacking is a different kind of bar graph. We can change. So the data range here, A2 to F3, that's this data at the top. And um, <clears throat> we have our column A as headers. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that's done automatically. And here on the left side is the count. We can customize it. We have all sorts of different ways. You got color, theme, and so on. Uh, you can make it 3D. Ooh, fancy. Um, and if you wanted to change the chart title and, and so on. So we could say here, um, how I've been feeling this year so far. Something like that. Oops, I got it wrong. This should be an apostrophe. There we go. So that you can look through here and you can, you can see different ways to customize um, different parts of your graph. You have grid lines. You could do things like this, whatever. Now I want to take another look at our data and make a line graph. So we did a bar graph already. For a line graph, we don't need to do a pivot table because we already have all of our data here in sheet number one. So to make a line graph, we're going to find our graph section. So we have this already highlighted. So somewhere up here, here's a drop down more. There's my create or insert a chart. And because I have this highlighted, it already automatically knows what I want. And again, so you can see on the left side, there's my scores and the dates are across the bottom. We can customize this again um, on the right side. So we could change the chart style. Um, we can smooth it. So this looks a little bit prettier maybe. Um, uh, we can change the score versus date. Um, or we could say uh, how I'm, how apostrophe, how I'm feeling over time and so on. You can change the other labels. You can change the colors of the, um, the lines and so on. Okay. So that's your line chart. Now the last one I want to do, and I'm going to kind of leave this to you. I want you to do a second pivot table. So make sure you have your data selected here and make sure we've got that closed. So I want you to do another pivot table. And this time I want you to make a pie chart and I'll give you a clue. We'll look at our pivot table here. I select it here. The key to making a pie chart, remember pies are out of 100%. You wanna look at this section right here under values. Okay, so see if you can make a pie chart and use the pivot table so you have to make a second pivot table because this one is counting the actual days. You want to convert this to a percent. So you go through the same process and using the right hand side and looking at your um, show as button under values, you'll be able to turn it into a percent and uh, make it a pie chart. Okay. So hopefully that was helpful. And if you have any questions, um, please leave a private comment attached to the uh, Google assignment.